decided to create for you. Um, it's a very simple look um, using all kinds of products um, and I decided to go with a matte lip using a lip pencil instead of a lipstick because it doesn't transfer, it's going to last all day and it's just great. I mean it's a no fuss makeup and lipstick. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned if you guys like this look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on Facebook. And I'm working on my blog. I know it's taking me a while. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day out with whoever. Um... <laughs> I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Hi everybody, let's get started. So I'm gonna start by priming my lids with this new MAC paint pot I got. This is called Laying Low. And I like this one because it's a little bit more um, pink and a little darker than painterly, so I feel like it matches my skin perfectly. So if I didn't want to put any eyeshadow on, uh, I could use this instead of using a concealer um, and it's just perfect or if I only want to put one color on on my lid it's just it's perfect so next I'm going to take Maybelline's eyeshadow quad in chai latte and we are going to start off by using this color right here and I'm just going to use my Sigma E40 brush for this it's just going to go right in the crease I'm using this brush because it covers a lot more ground uh, and we want it to be just super, super blended out. So next I'm going to take this color right here and I'm just going to use my MAC 252 brush to pack this all over the lid. Next I'm going to take this bottom brown chocolatey color right here and this is going to go right in my crease and I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush so I'm just going to pack it onto my corner and gently start sweeping this in the crease I'm just going to go one very light swipe on my to my inner corner but I definitely want the concentration to be in the outer corner. And then you can just slowly start building this up towards the brow bone. And now we're gonna use this white color right here for our brow bone. And I'm just gonna take my MAC 242 brush for this. And gently swipe this underneath the brow. You don't want to come close to your to your crease color because we want that to stay fairly bold. All right, so now I'm going to take that same color that, and I'm going to use my MAC 242 brush, and I'm just going to pack on a little bit of that color on my inner corner. So for this look, I want to keep it fairly soft because we are going to have a bold lip. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Eye Coal and I'm just going to line my inside waterline with this. So I'm going to take the pencil again and just do a very, very small line close to my lash line. This doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to take this brush. This is a MAC 212 brush. This came in one of those holiday kits. And I'm just going to take any black eyeshadow and smudge in the eyeshadow, of course, building from the outside to the center just to enhance the eyeliner that we put on with the eye coal. Okay, now on to mascara. 
So these are the four mascaras I am going to use. I am going to use starting with this hand first. This is one, two, three, and four. Um, I am using four mascaras because I like the effect it has on my lashes. I love fake lashes, but sometimes I'm just literally too lazy to put them on and sometimes I think they can be too much if you can't find the perfect lash. Um, so instead I just decided to use four mascaras. Sometimes I'll pile on more. Um, but the secret of using these to create long non-clumpy lashes is um, to use them in a certain sequence based on the brush. And the first one I start with is the Benefit Bad Gal um, Lash. I do like this. I don't know how much I like it by itself. Um, um, so this is like the old school original mascara brush. Um, I feel like this really starts a good base for my lashes. So this one is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. This one is very... Um, it's also very thick, but it's also very wispy. It has kind of those rubber... Um, bristles instead and that are very thin. Um, this is an amazing, amazing mascara if you want long lashes. This is super awesome. It's probably one of my favorite mascaras. And then I'm using this one which is the L'Oreal um, Lash Out Butterfly Effect. Um, I, I like this. I like it in the sequence. I'm not sure if I like this on its own, but this is the brush it's very the bristles are very 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 short um, but they are the rubbery one so if you have any other one that has the short rubbery bristles um, feel free to use that next and then the last one I use is um, the L'Oreal telescopic shocking extensions mascara so this also has the short very very short rubbery bristles but I like this one because it does a great finishing effect um, and I use this on my bottom lashes as well. So I'm going to do my lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, so now on to my face. So I'm going to prime my face using Benefit's um, The Professional Agent Zero Shine. So you just dump a little bit in your cap. You dab the little brush on. And then you start swirling this on the areas where you have an oily face. So for this look I am using my L'Oreal True Match um, foundation. This is in W6 Sun Beige. It's a medium to light coverage foundation obviously depending on how much you put on. And I'm just gonna blend this in with my Beauty Blender. And don't forget to blend this into your neck as well. So for this look, I want to brighten my under eye, so I'm going to use Max Prep and Prime Highlighter in Radiant Rose. I absolutely love this one. Um, so this is the salmon colored one, um, but I love this because it also cancels out the minor um, dark circles that I may have. So I, I love American Idol, of course, and I love Jennifer Lopez. That's kind of one of the reasons why I watch it now, but one day she was obviously on the judging panel and um, her makeup artist did this really awesome highlighter on her face but it was a different technique that he used or she I'm not sure who her makeup artist is but basically what they did is they did a line here and then a line down so it didn't touch the cheek part um, which I thought was amazing because I mean this is literally where you want to bring light to your face um, so it was literally just like this, right down the face, almost an L shape or 90 degree angle shape, however you want to call it. Um, and I thought that was great because it leaves um, this your cheekbone um, exposed and untouched so you can have, I guess, cleaner look on your blush. Um, and I just really like that. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend this in. Make sure when you blend it in you keep it right where the line is and keep your cheekbone free of the highlighter. Alright, so now to powder my face I am going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is number 011 Creamy Natural. 
I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush, and this is going to go all over my face, especially in my T-zone area. Um, I don't want to touch my under eye or my cheeks. Alright, so I really want to use my Azalea in the Afternoon Blush from the new MAC Fantasy of Flowers collection. Today, if you saw my video on my review, this is very, very, very sheer. So I'm just going to use a matte base. This is NYX 06 Peach Blush. And I'm just going to use my MAC Blush Brush. I believe this is number 168. So I like to dab on the blush first and then swirl out any harsh lines. And then I'm just going to take this azalea in the afternoon, dab this in, and then just layer this right on top to get that really, really, really pretty glow. So now I'm going to take my MAC Pro Sculpting Powder in Accentuate, and I'm going to use my Sigma F35 brush for this year. So I'm just going to dab this right where we put the highlighter. And this is just to keep it bright. You don't have to dab too much of this product on in order for it to work. And then I'm going to use my NARS Guy Bourdain palette. Just going to use this, this highlighter right here. If you don't have this palette, you can use um, Albatross if you like. Albatross is a little bit more yellow, which is also very, very, very pretty depending on um, your skin tone. Um, I probably would have used Albatross, but I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just going to do my eyebrows, so I'm going to brush through them. So I'm just going to use my Anastasia Dip Down Brow Pomade. Um, this is in the color Ebony. And I'm going to use my MAC 22... <sighs> 266 angled brush for this. I'm just going to lightly dab it in and then I'm going to outline my eyebrow. Alright, and now to finish off this look, I'm going to move on to my lips. So I'm going to take um, Max Prep and Prime Lip. This is it. It literally just looks like um, almost chapstick. And when I first got it, I was like, ah, oh, that's ridiculous to have a MAC chapstick. But it's actually a really, really great base to have when you are having um, lip liner instead of lipstick. And that's what I'm going to do for this look. So this is the Cherry Lip Pencil by MAC. And I'm just going to outline my lips with this. And then I'm going to fill them in. Alright, so the reason why I wanted to use a lip pencil is because this really doesn't transfer onto anything. Um, this is about it, and this is still when it's kind of setting on my lips. Um, but it's great. I mean, I think it's just so much easier. It's going to last all day. You rarely have to reapply it unless you wipe wipe it off with a napkin. Um, so yeah, it's great. All right, everybody. So this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day with whoever you're going out with. If it's your significant other, a date, your friends. It, it really doesn't matter. Just go out and have fun and enjoy really so bye everybody <laughs> see even Rory is ready for Valentine's Day she has her very cute Hello Kitty dress on <laughs> bye everybody see you guys next time